Every year, more than 100,000 people in Latin America and the Caribbean lose their lives because of traffic accidents. More than half of the deceased are cyclists, motorcyclists, and pedestrians. Teenagers and young adults ages 15 to 29 are among the most vulnerable. In addition, 5 million people in the region are hurt each year in traffic accidents. They are permanently disabled and unable to take care of themselves financially. The loss of lives and injuries on the road are estimated to cost between 1 and 3 percent of the gross domestic product of the countries in the region. There's work to be done on many fronts. Work is needed on basically technical, traditional engineering issues such as better built roads and cars that are made better and meet higher safety standards. But we must also create awareness among our top political leaders in the region that this is a serious problem. In order to tackle this situation, the IDB launched a road safety strategy in 2010. It focuses on working with governments to strengthen their technical and institutional capacities and facilitate the mobilization of financial resources for transportation operations. To this end, the IDB is continuously searching for strategic alliances to promote effective low-cost measures such as enforcing speed limits and maximum blood alcohol levels and the mandatory use of seatbelts. The initiative for road safety in Latin America and Caribbean is the result of the cooperation between the Inter-American Development Bank and the Spanish Road Association. The three main activities of this assessment are a detailed road safety diagnosis, an online road safety guide and pilot test in several countries. As a first step, the road safety diagnosis covered 26 countries in the region. The process included the analysis of more than 30 items in the field of infrastructure, human factor, vehicle and legal and institutional framework and enforcement. The online road safety guide developed in cooperation with Polytechnic University of Valencia in Spain is available in the website of the bank. It has been conceived as a toolkit with several functions and more than 200 deficiencies and 800 solutions, covering all factors involved in road safety. The toolkit has been developed from an integral perspective. Again, solutions from human factor, vehicle, infrastructure and legal and institutional framework and enforcement are available. Finally, five different pilot tests were conducted. Locations in Brazil, Nicaragua, Costa Rica and Argentina were carefully analyzed and a number of areas for improvement and proposals in different fields were suggested. Only by implementing strong changes in all involved factors, we will be in a good position to fight against these important problems as one of the main challenges for this decade. For us, it's a great honor on the first hand to have the opportunity to collaborate with the Inter-American Development Bank in this project, contributing to reduce the number and consequences of road accidents in the Latin American region, and on the other hand, to receive this award from the International Road Federation. Thank you very much. We want to thank the International Road Federation for awarding the Inter-American Development Bank the Global Road Achievement Award for our work in road safety. Um, in the Latin American region, road safety is one of the main causes of death among young people, and we think that it's our responsibility and one of our main objectives to help uh, the countries of our region reduce this tragedy. We think that working with partners like the Spanish Road Federation and the International Road Federation is critical to be able to help our countries in achieving these goals. Thank you.